In rural communities across the nation, there seems to be a drain of young people who see a better future in the big city than in an ag-based community. Well, this is nothing new. From the beginning of time, the family farm has never been able to support all the kids and grandkids. However, the importance of maintaining a strong base of next generations on the farm has never been more critical. As urban America continues to devalue support for the extension service and VOAG classes and county fairs, the demand for safe, abundant food production continues to increase. We as a nation spend uncountable dollars preparing our kids to be astronauts and stockbrokers and football players. But for every Rhodes Scholar, Heisman Trophy winner, and bank vice president, we better train at least two of them to be farmers or ranchers so the rest of them can eat. The preparation begins when our rural kids are big enough to carry a bucket. When they're doing chores, showing lambs, or stacking hay, they are learning how to turn rain and dirt into steak and potatoes. But they eventually reach a point in their training when they are ready for more intense or extensive or specialized learning. Maybe finding summer jobs in chicken houses or feedlots or ag laboratories or dairy farms or in machine shops. And other kids seek to increase their knowledge by taking classes in nutrition or vet medicine or genetics. However, many of these options require money. Well, the key to opening up these new worlds to young people often rests in the hands of what I call the FFA mom or the 4-H mom, the rural equivalent of the soccer mom. She is the one who raises money for judging trips, state meetings, guest lectures, and books. She's the organizer behind the scenes that aids the extension agent, the ag teacher, or the fair board to turn great plans into reality. Financing these programs to advance the knowledge of our kids runs the gamut from bake sales to barn cleaning, from car washes to tassel topping, from raffle tickets to cow pie bingo. This is where the makers of Crystalix brand supplements comes in. We call it the Earn to Learn program. In a nutshell, your group of youngsters, who are typically FFA and 4-H members, sell discount cards to livestock producers. Producers can then trade them for a significant savings at the local Crystal Lake dealer. Everybody wins. The livestock producer gets a generous discount. The youth group raises money to expand their educational opportunities, and the local feed store does more business. So how does Earn to Learn work? Well, here's the details. A, a youth group develops a goal of funds needed for their educational event or activity. B, youth groups connect with the local dealer and plan a strategy of contacting livestock producers who will benefit from discounted supplement costs. C, a fundraising calendar is established, cards are sold, and proceeds are collected, and all earnings stay with the youth group at that time. To pursue this more, check out crystalix.com, and if it piques your interest, sign up online and Locate your nearest Crystalix dealer, or you can contact Crystalix directly. As we watch our political leaders continue to battle with budget problems and regularly make cuts in agricultural support, we as an industry, as a national community, as concerned parents, realize that more and more the responsibility to raise and educate our rural kids will fall on our own shoulders. Crystalix and their dealers through the Earn to Learn recognizes our mutual commitment and has designed a program to help us at local levels to help ourselves. And when it comes down to livestock producers, we're kind of proud. We've never really expected it to be any different. We take care of our own, be it land, livestock, or our youth. It's just the way we are. Crystalix understands us and they'd like to help. Crystalix.com